Welcome to this evening's Muskogee Municipal Authority meeting, September 11, 2017. Roll call, please. Mayor Bob Copern. Here. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Here. Dan Hall. Here. Marlon Coleman. Here. Janie Boydston. Here. Wayne Johnson. Here. Patrick Kale. Here. Ivory Van. Here. Derek Reed. Here. We are accounted for. Regular agenda item number one. Consider approval of the MMA minutes of August 14th, 2017. Is there additional corrections to the minutes? If not, move for approval. approval. Second. And a motion and a second. Any comments? Roll call. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Yes. Jenny Boydston. Yes. Patrick Kale. Yes. Marlon Coleman. Yes. Wayne Johnson. Yes. Ivory Van. Yes. Derek Reed. Yes. Dan Hall. Yes. Mayor Coburn. Yes. Item number two. Consider approval of MMA claims for month ending August 31st, 2017. Mr. Miller. Chairman, uh, members of the authority, you'll see uh, the, uh, as you look at the claims list, the uh, operations expenses, but you'll also note that uh, the money we're retaining for capital projects is about twice what it usually is. That's because the increase uh, to the water rates has gone into effect in, in August, and uh, we are retaining that as uh, the, the council's ask for those special projects, so that number is higher. Uh, and we were able to do some capital improvements with that, and we're, we are happy to move forward with those and recommend uh, that we approve these claims. Move for approval. Second. A motion and a second. Any comment or question? Roll call. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Yes. Janie Boydston. Yes. Patrick Kale. Yes. Marlon Coleman. Yes. Wayne Johnson. Yes. Ivory Van. Yes. Derek Reed. Yes. Dan Hall. Yes. Mayor Coburn. Yes. Motion carries. That concludes our municipal uh, authority. Agenda. We'll now go to the uh, Muskogee City Council agenda for September 11 for our regular meeting. The, inv the invocation this season will be by Councilman Ivory Van, and then join us following that for the flag salute. Everybody heard some word of prayer. I have a question, Father, this evening, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord, for letting us live this and see another day. And bless our country, dear Lord, that we went in 9 11, 16 years ago, we went through a terrific time in our country, but we bounced back, dear Lord. And Lord, bless the people down in Houston with this flood situation and also the people in Florida that went through a trem tremendous disaster yesterday with the flood situation. And Lord, just keep us in your care and let the people around the world know that you are God and you're still in control of everything. What happens to us, <coughs> it, just, it just happens. And you're always there for us. So bless our city, dear Lord. Thank you for all the things you've blessed us with and all the people here in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Well, we ask all these blessings in your name for your sake. Amen. 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 Please join us for the flag salute. Attention. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mayor Bob Coburn. Here. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Here. Dan Hall. Here. Marlon Coleman. Here. Janie Boydston. Here. Wayne Johnson. Here. Patrick Kale. Here. Ivory Van. Here. Derek Reed. Here. Uh, we'll now consider the minutes from the August 28, 2017 meeting, 17 meeting. Is there addition or correction to those minutes? Is there? Move for approval. Second. A motion and a second. Any comments? Roll call. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Yes. Janie Boydston. Yes. Patrick Kale. Yes. Marlon Coleman. Yes. Wayne Johnson. Yes. Ivory Van. Yes. Derek Reed. Yes. Dan Hall. Yes. Mayor Coburn. Yes. Motion carries. Consent agenda will be items one through five this evening, unless someone wants to move something to the regular agenda. Otherwise, we'll consider a motion regarding move the for consent the agenda. Approval. Second. Get a motion and a second. Any comment or question? Roll call. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Yes. Jenny Boydston. Yes. Patrick Kale. Yes. Marlon Coleman. Yes. Wayne Johnson. Yes. Ivory Van. Yes. Derek Reed. Yes. Dan Hall. Yes. Mayor Coburn. Yes. Motion carries. Regular agenda item number six. Hold a public hearing and take action on the approval of Ordinance 4026A to close North 5th Street located between Omogi Avenue and Broadway Avenue, more particularly <coughs> described in the ordinance providing for severability and setting an effective date or take other necessary action. Mr. Garvin, and we will consider ourselves in a public hearing. Mayor, members of the council, the applicant GSA is requesting approval to close a portion of Fifth Street. It's the portion lying between Okmulgee and Broadway Avenue. The reason for the closure is the U.S. Marshal Service has identified a security issue, and closing will help to address that issue. 
Uh, they are requesting it close the street to vehicular traffic, but it would remain open for pedestrian use. Uh, we did not receive any objections from the utility companies. Uh, the fire department did, however, request that the uh, bollards that are being installed on Broadway and Obogie be the removable type. That way, if in case there's a fire, they can uh, remove them to get uh, a ladder truck access to the front of the building. They are proposing to put uh, three planters along the alleyway. These are three foot by three foot planters. In addition to that, they're putting a six by six planters on the east side of Fifth Street. They're removing all the asphalt, and what they're doing is coming back with brick pavers at the crosswalks and about a 42 foot wide paved area about the middle of the block. The remaining portion of the street will be the exposed concrete aggregate, kind of like what you see on some of the sidewalks downtown. This item is being recommended for approval by the Subdivision Review Committee, Planning Commission, and Public Works Committee. Be glad to answer any questions, and some re representatives of GSA is also present if you have any questions. Uh, we, regarding the public hearing, we did not have anybody sign up to speak to this item, so we will close the public hearing <coughs> and go to council to see if there's question or comment. Move for approval. Second. second. Motion and a second, or several seconds. <laughs> uh, any comments? Roll call. Deputy Mayor James Sculley? Yes. Janie Boydston? Yes. Patrick Kale? Yes. Marlon Coleman? Yes. Wayne Johnson? Yes. Ivory Van? Yes. Derek Reed? Yes. Dan Hall? Yes. Mayor Coper? Yes. Motion carries. Item number seven. Consider approval to accept the State of Oklahoma Emergency Management Performance Grant, EMPG, in the amount of $25,000 to be used to fund emergency management operations or take other necessary action. Deputy yes, Chief sir. Chad Farmer. Hello. Good morning. Or good sir. evening, I mean. I'm uh, filling in for Mark Bolding, and he has uh, had some medical so. issues, so that's why I'm here. That's but this is the uh, uh, yearly grant that we've done for many, many years uh, that we get from the state. It's $25,000. The uh, city matches $25,000, and it goes for the uh, general budget for emergency management operations. Um, it, uh, it covers uh, any of the operations he does as far as any of the uh, drills we have and the meetings he holds and that kind of thing. So I'll be happy to answer any questions, but recommend approval. Move for approval. Second. And a motion and a second. Is there a comment or discussion? <coughs> Roll call. Deputy Mayor James Scully. Yes. Janie Boydston. Yes. Patrick Kale. Yes. Marlon Coleman. Yes. Wayne Johnson. Yes. Ivory Van. Yes. Derek Reed. Yes. Van Hall. Yes. Mayor Coburn. Yes. Motion carries. And that concludes our regular agenda. We did not have anyone sign up to speak this evening, so that concludes our agenda for the City Council meeting. Thank you for joining us.